EQ automation. Now we have to go and find where EQ is in this dropdown. And so it's, I can click on this dropdown and under automation, we have all these available automations. On every track, you'll have smart controls, volume, and main. And then you'll have a list of numbers here. So these numbers correspond to whatever plugins you have on the track. So I have one compressor, two channel EQ. And that's because over here, I have compressor and a channel EQ. So for example, on my audio four track here, I have a compressor, a channel EQ, and a pitch shifter. So if I go to drop down, I have a channel, compressor, channel EQ, and a pitch shifter. See, I can even automate, for example, the, the pitch shifter. So let's go back to our guitar and we'll go to our channel EQ and we'll do something called a high cut frequency. And you'll, you've probably heard this type of automation before. I'll just click in and then I'll find a frequency and I'll show you what this is like in action. I'm gonna click our EQ box here, this little thing. This is our EQ window. Now I'm going to turn on the high cut. As I drag this down, it covers all the signal. As you drag it up, it, it makes room for more signal. So what I wanna do is create a dynamic where the guitar is kind of quiet and then really becomes louder. It's almost like a volume automation, but not. I'm just gonna go back to my volume. See, I've used volume automation and channel high EQ automation. So I'm gonna go back to my volume and I'm just gonna delete this automation for now. So right click so we can really focus in delete visible automation. I just really wanna focus in on the sound of this high cut. So here's what this sounds like in, in context and watch the signals coming in here. It actually didn't get louder. It was, um, it technically did get louder, but the volume didn't change. It's just because I was hiding those, all these signals at this area. And then over time I was bringing that fader up. So we could also just press command because we have our fader tool here. Just create more of a kind of a slow curve there. So that would be an EQ automation. Let's move on to the next section of the video and just put a bit of the things that we've learned in this tutorial so far into practice by making a bit of a song. So how I wanna get out of this automation is I can always just press A and it comes back to this view. Now I'm just gonna zoom out by holding option and pressing up on my keyboard and then I'm gonna hold option.